is going on y'all it's your boy ricky moto welcome back to yet another video hope you guys are doing well today i am doing okay not the greatest which i'll get into a little bit later in this video but before we get into my topic for the video i just want to say thank you for all of those who have continued to show support on the channel we are still growing quite quickly we're getting closer now to 4,000 subscribers wow that's pretty insane i literally just hit 3,000. i did a whole like 3,000 subscribers special where we did a giveaway for a key tag congratulations to the guy who has won the giveaway as well as someone who actually bought a key tag so thank you guys for that support if you guys want to cop a key tag for yourself make sure to do so all the information will be in the description below there are basically forced carbon fiber key tags that i make from scratch literally uh, with my branding and everything on it and I can also sign it for free it's also limited to only 50 pieces so make sure to get yours before it's no longer available for the 4,000 subscribers I'm um, thinking about doing some sort of celebration so I figured for the 4,000 subscriber special uh, I guess we can do something like a QA and a because I've never really done one of those so yeah guys if you guys want to submit questions I'll be collecting them over the next few weeks until we actually hit 4,000 where I'll you know make the video doing the q and you know you guys can literally ask me about anything it doesn't have to be about you know cars or motorcycles it could just be about my life or you know whatever you guys want to know so all you have to do is comment below on this video and the future videos coming out the next few weeks with the hashtag ask ricky so that's the way you're going to be able to enter into you know the q and a and i'll select a handful of questions that i think are pretty solid and then i'll feature them in the video of course um the reason why i ask you guys to use the hashtag ask ricky is because i do get a couple of questions here and there on every video and usually they're related to that specific video and i would just you know respond right away with you know whatever the answer is but for the q and a i want you guys to dig deep you know really get down and dirty with it ask me whatever you guys want to ask it doesn't like i said it's, it's you know open book ask whatever the heck you want to ask just put the hashtag ask ricky and i won't respond to that comment with an answer but like i'll probably just be like oh thank you for entering or thank you for submitting your question because i want to save the answers for the video but yeah guys go ahead and do that you know before we continue this video make sure to drop that comment right now but anyways getting into today's topic i wanted to share a little bit about just how i'm doing oh, this is the exact spot where i dropped my bike <laughs> like a few days ago it's kind of warm out today too i'm wearing like full-blown like three layers and everything i've been starting to gear up a little bit more this time just because i've been you know recognizing how dangerous motorcycles are i had a couple of close calls as you guys can see in the previous couple of my pure ride videos where i'm just riding around going crazy a lot of close calls man so i'm like okay i gotta put some gear on i have a chest plate i don't think it's really gonna do much in an event of like an actual crash but you know it makes you feel a little bit more secure <laughs> Anyways guys, so I just wanted to share a little bit about how I've been doing. Um, I've been posting a lot on this channel, a lot, a, lot, a lot of peer rides and all that. And you know, it's been great, you know, I've been enjoying making the content. Um, I feel pretty good about the grind, you know, being consistent with the uploads. But there's also another part of me where I'm actually just dying on the inside, you know, just putting it out there straight up. My mental health has been just really dog crap recently, I gotta say. Like, I've just been hella depressed, a lot of anxiety, like, it's just, it's really starting to affect, you know, just my day-to-day. -day. I mean, I've always struggled with, you know, anxiety and depression and whatnot, but, and, like, ADHD, too. I was never, like, professionally diagnosed, so I'm just out here self-diagnosing. But I have a lot of, like, ADHD type of, you know, behaviors. Ooh, M3! Okay! And it's been really getting to me, to the point where, like, that's why I'm actually being mad consistent. That's why I'm uploading crazy. It's because I've been riding a lot more recently as a way to relieve stress and like kind of clear my head. And my GoPro is always running whenever I ride. Even if I'm not like planning to make a video, it's just always on as like a safety thing. Kind of like a dash cam. And so then as I'm going on all these rides, because I've been riding literally every single day now for like at least an hour. I have a lot of footage on my GoPro. So I just pull footage and I just upload it as like a pure ride instead. I don't like specifically go out to film it. So that's one of the reasons why I've been hella consistent. My, my mind is just messing with me. Is you know, it's just a mix of being like overwhelmed with work cause I've been just putting a lot of hours in cause I'm in a kind of a financial struggle right now. I have a good amount of debt that I have to take care of. 
and like I have to you know make all these payments for like my car and whatnot it's it's a lot you know it's, it's really expensive as you guys know I have two cars and this bike payment for all three combined with the insurance is two thousand dollars that's freaking nuts bro like I'm paying rent on freaking vehicles top of that I still have you know external debt that I have to you know take care of from like credit cards losses that I had from years ago with stocks you know where I had to take out a lot of personal loans to kind of cover my losses and just a lot of stuff like that which just puts a lot of burden on me on a financial standpoint and you know I'm still trying to make content I'm still trying to you know do my builds but like that costs money too which is why I haven't really been like modifying any of my vehicles recently because I just simply can't afford to right now and I'm in the process of potentially actually selling one of my cars like the E90 I, mean, I talked about it for a while I kind of mentioned it here and there where like I'm thinking about getting rid of it but yeah there's someone in my workplace that might be interested in buying it off of me so you know until then we'll see what happened but that will kind of help out financially a little bit I will miss it though I only had it for a few months but you know I don't know exactly I don't know for sure if I'm selling it because they're still kind of wishy-washy about it besides the financial stress I'm also going through like emotional stress I don't want to get too into it but like you know I've been having some girl problems bro I'm not dating anyone right now so I feel like it's kind of foolish to me so I feel like it's kind of foolish to have any sort of heartbreak or anything like that but like man these girls out here bro like I've been trying to get into the dating game a little bit recently you know I got a couple of dating apps decided to try it out to see if I can get to meet new people and a lot of bad experiences have happened with that and I, I you know it messes with my head it makes me start to question myself like damn like am I ever am I ever gonna find someone good because a lot of these people be crazy man like a lot of these girls like to play with feelings I feel like it's a trend where like girls like to keep guys in their life without having any intent with them and it's just like it's a waste of effort and time it's just like confusing and I feel like the emotional part of that is actually outweighing the stress that I have with work and finances because I'm used to like killing myself with work it's also just like the self-critic in me you know wanting to produce content not having a lot of time to do it and also it's just and also I've just been struggling with you know being motivated to make content I know it sounds contradictory because I've been posting a lot recently but like I, I started like another channel where I'm posting personal content I have a lot of things planned for it but I just can't sit down and actually just do it I like I purposely set time for myself to be able to make content on my second channel and then when I have that time I'm just sitting there and I just can't get myself to actually just do it I have a couple like little online businesses that I like kind of gave up on that you know have potential and I just kind of gave up on it I don't know maybe I'm just burned out but you know I just don't really have the same kind of joy doing what I do anymore even with the motorcycle content like I also feel like I'm losing motivation with this not that I don't like doing it or don't want to upload anymore a lot of the pure ride videos like I don't put effort into that you know I'm just being honest because I'm just riding around not thinking not really talking about anything I'm just riding and just take the footage and upload it but like I, what I really want to be doing is actually be like making motor vlogs like this talking and like explaining stuff and you know making educational content not only does that do well for the algorithm and the views but it's something that I enjoy doing being able to help my viewership you know teach them about things about bikes you know I have a lot of like tutorial videos and like things if like tips and tricks for new riders and stuff like that I have a lot of these things planned and I already scripted it up but like, I just can't get myself to just do it and I find myself just riding you know mindlessly as a way to escape and I just that's how I get my footage nowadays I apologize if this video is just very like all over the place and I'm just ranting about whatever the heck but you know I just needed someone to talk to <laughs> I was thinking about just like not posting anymore for a bit or like taking a break or like just bottling up on my emotions but I always forget you know I have a community out there that actually gives a crap about me to some degree like you guys may not know me personally but still you guys like enjoy my content and that's like enough for me to feel satisfied like I don't have any friends you know I don't talk to nobody I don't receive a single text like if I literally put my phone down right now on the table and let it sit there for a year I'm not gonna get one notification I have more fans reach out to me than actual friends and I appreciate you guys you know like 100% you know if it wasn't for the supporters on this channel I would really have nobody to talk to and it gets a little you know sad a little lonely at times Oh my god, what are these roads, man? But yeah, hopefully I can pull myself together over the next few days or weeks and then get back into making the content I truly want to make, you know, moto vlogs, you know, personal vlogs for the second channel. It's just, it's just very disappointing to me, like, when I have so many ideas and I know what I need to do, but I just don't do it because I just don't feel like it. And it's so unlike me because the type of person I am, like, I don't like being lazy. I'm, like, very anti-lazy. Doing nothing all day, like, pisses myself off, you know? 
I thrive in an environment where I'm constantly doing something and constantly, you know, exploring, trying new things out. And whenever I'm stagnant or like just, you know, lazy laying in bed doing nothing, it makes me feel absolutely disgusting. But yeah, guys, you know, I just wanted to share a little bit about how I'm doing. Like your boys is a little burnt right now. And also hence why a lot of the peer ride videos I've been posting is very aggressive, so to speak, you know. I don't usually ride that hard on a day-to-day -day, but I've been doing that almost every day not good yeah I gotta chill out I don't want to kill myself like this there's better ways to relieve stress instead of putting your life on the line you know you can still relieve stress go and chill but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure to support the channel by dropping a like a comment for the Q&A make sure to use hashtag ask Ricky subscribe to the channel if you are new here hope you enjoy your stay and last but not least before I leave if you guys want to support me on a financial level make sure to go cop a key tag uh, using the link in the description below. With that being said, it's been your boy Ricky Moto, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.